What's up, crypto heads? John Fro here from Crypto Dreams. This is the place to be to learn about NFTs. Welcome back. Happy to have you here. Today, we are looking at Novo Pangea. Novo Pangea is a play to earn game on the Wax blockchain. They have some exciting things happening. This project is constantly developing. Their game is live. They are launching their token February 28th. We are gonna be talking a little bit about that. I will be showing you how to get started with the game and how everything works together. If you are feeling the content on this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right, let's get right down to it all right so here is the novo pangea website we are just going to take a very brief look at the website just give you a basic overview before diving into the game and looking how everything works the beginning of your empire build your economy acquire land buildings facilities mines and skilled workers to produce resources and economic growth in Novo Pangea. So there are multiple NFTs you can purchase to get started. Land, buildings, facilities, mines, skilled workers. Choose your friends and enemies wisely. Forge your alliances. Make connections all over the world in a true multiplayer experience. So very cool. You can form alliances within the game, earn obsidian. So the in-game currency is obsidian and you will earn this by selling resources from rental fees and various other ways. A key advantage, get ahead, upgrade your NFTs. So there is upgrading that you can do to your NFTs. Stake Novo. Novo is their upcoming token that they will be launching on February 28th. So that is coming very soon. Really exciting time in the community. You will be able to stake Novo and earn and be part of the DAO. So here is their roadmap. They have been developing all the way since 2021. So Novo is not a new project. It has been around for quite some time. So keep that in mind. This is not a new project. This is not a rug that's just developing and they don't have anything happening. They have a lot happening. A lot is live. We are gonna be taking a look at much of that so we can look in Q4 of 2022. They had planned to launch the Novo token. That got pushed back a little bit and now it is coming on February 28th. So totally normal with projects to have delays. It is a lot of work developing games. So that is coming. Looks like Town Hall staking and Token Bridge will also be coming. So Token Bridge is always a great Thing to see. Novo is on wax, but they are planning on spreading out to other chains. Love seeing that anytime for any project. They're going to have PVP. That is coming Q1 of 2023. Additional buildings, heroes and creatures, district arenas. So arenas are coming and then simulation battles. So PVP is not yet live. That is something they are going to be launching. We look down here at the bottom. You can find all their socials here. I will have links to all of this in the description. They have a white paper. All right, so here is the game. This is the map. 
the first thing you're going to need to do to get started in the game is you are going to need to pick a realm. There are six realms for you to choose from. Water, space, earth, shadow, time, and light. I am in the time realm. That is my chosen realm. And if you go ahead and click on the time realm, you're going to see that there are multiple districts. I believe there are 10 districts in each realm. You will need to choose a district as well. So if you choose the space realm, for example, you will pick one of these districts and that is where you will be based. You can set up shop in multiple realms but you will have a primary realm and that is where you will begin and you will start but you will not be locked into that realm you can set up land and buildings in other realms as well so once you have chosen your realm and your district you will go ahead and go to that district to set up shop so you will need land and you will need buildings so this is my setup right here i have four lands and one of each building i'm going to explain how these all work together in this episode and what each of these buildings do so in order to claim a plot of land you will need one of these you need a land claim so this is a time realm land claim so keep that in mind if you want to be in the space realm you're not going to want to get a time realm land claim so make sure you find yourself a space realm you will then take that land claim and go to your district in your realm and you're going to click your land and it'll pop up here and then you will have to sign a contract and then it will look like this so somebody has claimed this land here already and that's what it will look like when you stake your land to a plot then you will need to get yourself some buildings so buildings will look like this again you want to get buildings for your specific realm so be careful with that so time realm for example i would need a building that looks like this if we jump back here you can see that there is my building and again you will have to stake that to your land in order to start using it so right here if we click right next to my address we can view my profile. I have four buildings, three workers, and four plots. You can also see your resources. This is my energy, building materials, and food, and also my obsidian. So also, if we look up here at the top, we are also gonna see my obsidian and all of my resources, so that is all right here so there's a lot of things to look at on the screen i'm going to explain all of them right now with you if we click on inventory this is a very important screen this is where you're going to be able to monitor what's happening with your workers and your buildings and everything else with the game you can see here that it's showing my four lands if I click on buildings, it's going to show all the buildings that I have. I also have a light realm food facility right here. If we click on workers, it's going to show all my workers. They are currently on a shift that is going to expire in about 32 minutes. After that expires, I will need to rest them. And I will explain how that works here shortly. I have a speed up. This is a story card. I pulled this card in a pack 
This is a speed up that you can stake to a specific building that speeds up the time it takes for either a job or the rest period. We're also going to see multiple other tabs here. These are not yet live. So there's a whole bunch of stuff yet to come for Novo. So really exciting. I mean, they're developing all the time and announcing all the time. I would recommend joining their Twitter and their Discord, especially. You're gonna get all the new news. There's always a lot going on. They're very active with the community. This project checks all of my boxes. Very legitimate. A lot happening. A lot of building all through the bear market of last year. Love, love seeing that. But let's go ahead and click back on buildings. You can upgrade buildings and you can upgrade workers. You can see ready for upgrade here. You could check levels, districts, realms, and the states of your NFTs. You have lots of filters and ways to search all of your NFTs within the ecosystem. So there are a few things I will explain here shortly. You will do the majority of all your tasks in the inventory window. Below it, this tab is your earn tab. So by clicking on that, you have options for jobs, which is where you will earn obsidian, land for rent and rest. So below that, we also have some filters that we can choose. If you want to just look at your buildings, you're going to want to click my buildings. So here are my buildings. They popped right up. If you were to go to rest, this is a different type of building. So your residential building will not show up in the jobs tab. These are two different things. Rest is where you rest your workers. Jobs are where you send out your workers to earn. Then you have land for rent where you can rent land from other players in the game and stake a building. So also something you can do. And this is all done in the earn tab. And if we look down on the bottom left corner, we are going to see exchange resources. So you can exchange your resources for obsidian. Obsidian is used to level up your buildings. You can also buy resources and then you have a redeem resources right here. So I am holding an obsidian resources NFT. If you have any of these NFTs and you want to redeem the resources from these NFTs, this is where you'll do it. You'll do it in redeem resources. So if I hit redeem, it's going to add obsidian to my inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and approve that. And that's going to add a hundred obsidian. I currently have 111 and now I have 211. So that is where you will redeem your resources right there. And this is where you will sell your resources for obsidian energy, building materials and food. You will also eventually when they launch their Novo token, you will be able to exchange obsidian for Novo and then you can withdraw that from the game and sell it on Alcor. So really exciting. The true play to earn aspect of Novo is coming where you can sell your obsidian that you have earned in the game for wax. So now if we look at the bottom right, if you click this, it's going to take you back to the map that I showed you at the beginning. This shows your district. We have show your lands and buildings. So it's showing my lands and buildings right there. It kind of darkens out everything else. You can also hide buildings. 
So everything looks a lot simpler by doing that. Not as busy. So you have that option there. You can click on this to show available jobs. So you can see that I could get a job over here and right here and then on my facility as well. And then there's another job right there. So that's what that tab will do. This is gonna show all residential buildings where you can rest your workers. And then home district time five. That is district right there. We can see also right here that this is coming soon. The Novo token. So that is very, very exciting stuff. So this is something very important that I wanna show you. This is the Novo Pangea Marketplace. This is my collection of lore. These are story, chapter, NFTs that I am holding. You can see right here that this NFT in particular gives me four creator credits. I have a total of 21 creator credits up here and then I have a total of 150 voting tickets. These NFTs give me creator credit. I also have the Light Realm Food Facility, but you can see right here that that gives me zero creator credits. You can exchange creator credits for NFTs. The NFTs you use to purchase new NFTs those NFTs will be transferred from your wallet into the game treasury. So you will no longer be holding those NFTs, but you will in turn receive the NFT that you have chosen to purchase with your creator credits. If you jump on the marketplace right here, so I could purchase a building, I could get travel passes so that I can go to other realms. I can get workers as well as resources right here. This is a time realm worker right here. I need another one. I only have three and I really want four. So I'm going to go ahead and use some of my creator credits to purchase this time realm worker so if you hit redeem it's going to take you to this screen right here where you will select the cards in your inventory that you want to use to purchase whatever nft you choose i'm going to purchase this time realm worker that I will use in the game. So I wanna make sure you check the box to confirm transaction. Then you're gonna hit redeem. You are about to transfer the following NFTs to Novo Treasury in exchange for one time realm skilled worker. Are you sure you want to continue? I'm gonna go ahead and hit redeem. Sign my transaction. And there we go. So I now have a new time realm skilled worker. If we go back to my collection, let's hit refresh here. We're gonna see that my NFTs are now gone. They have been taken to the treasury. All right, so jumping back into the game, I'm gonna show you how to send a worker out on a job and to send your workers to a residential building so they can rest and recover so that they can go back out to work again. If we look on inventory over here, we're gonna see a red circle with a three in it. If we click on my inventory, we're also gonna see that red circle here on my workers tab. So here we go. Here are my workers. This is the new one that I just purchased. And then these are the three that just finished their job. The timer has expired and they now need to rest. So I'm going to go ahead and click find residential. When you do that, a bunch of buildings are going to pop up. You want to make sure you click my buildings. If 
you are holding a building. If you are not, you can send your worker to a building. Keep in mind, it will cost you obsidian. If you use your building, it will not cost you obsidian, but it will always cost you a bit of resources. You need to have food to rest your workers. You will need 15 food, but you will not have to pay obsidian if you are using your own building. If you are using somebody else's building, you will have to pay them a little bit of obsidian. So I'm gonna go ahead and rest my worker. Then you're going to want to repeat for each one of your workers. So we're gonna go ahead and send all of my workers to residential buildings. So keep that in mind. You're gonna have to do this for each worker that you hold. So there we go. My three NFTs that just finished work are now resting in a cool down period. The timer is saying 21 hours and six minutes. That is sped up because I have my NFT staked. This is a speed up that I have staked to my residential building. So this time is less than it would be. It would be 24 hours otherwise, but I used my speed up to speed up the time that my workers will rest before they can get back out on a job. So that's the value of holding a speed up. Next, I'm gonna show you how to send a worker off on a job. So again, you're gonna hit find assignment. You'll see buildings that will pop up here. This one is mine. So we can see that I will pay zero in Obsidian. But if we look at these other buildings, you will have to pay Obsidian in order to work a job on that building. Again, if you click my buildings, it's gonna bring up all of my buildings. Something that is important to note is right here. You can see now that there is a red circle with a two in it. So we can see right here, there are two exclamation points and you can see set wage and cancel rental. This is something you will have to do when you first stake your buildings. And this is also something you will have to do after your workers are finished working on your buildings. You'll have to do this each time. So when you see this screen right here, you are gonna want to click right here. I plan to use my skilled workers. So click that, set wage on each of your buildings, you will not have to pay anything on your buildings, but you do need to do this in order to send your workers off to a building. All right, so jumping back to my worker, we're gonna find assignment on my building. Now I can see all my buildings here and I can send out my worker to whatever building I choose. If we look up here, my energy is getting low. I've been collecting building materials and food, but I haven't done energy for a while. So what I'm gonna do is send my worker off to collect some energy. So Time Realm Energy Mine, I'm gonna add my brand new worker and get him earning some energy. Sign a contract. I had 20 energy. Now this is going to increase. I now have 205 energy. So I can now send my workers off to earn more building materials and more food when they have finished resting. Well, there you have it. That is Novo Pangea. Thanks so much for watching and listening. It is much appreciated. I have links to everything I talked about in this episode in the description below. If you have a question or a comment, please leave it below and 
and I will answer you back. If you're feeling the content on this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, I wish you health and wealth. I'm out of here. Crypto.